But I'm here to discuss uh, Spain and the Costa del Sol. Now, in a moment, with the aid of slides, we're going to go through the program itself. We're going to see um, Torre Molinos. We're going to see Mijas. We're going to see Ronda, Seville. We're going to cross uh, the Straits of Gibraltar into Morocco and into Tangiers. Um, we're going to briefly have a, 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 a trip to the southern zone of Europe tonight from the comfort of the chamber or from the comfort of your home or office, because if I went into depth with it, we'd still be talking tomorrow about this destination. So um, I promise, as Connie mentioned a moment ago, I promise uh, to answer everybody's questions um, before I leave tonight. So if you're in the, the chamber room, great. Uh, you can fire those at me uh verbally at the, there's questions at the end but if i could ask everybody to hold the questions to the end i'd greatly appreciate it anybody on uh the zoom call uh, you can if you put your mouse to the top of your screen a toolbar will drop down and to the center left you'll see a an icon that says chat click on that chat box and you'll be able to type away any questions you have i'll be checking that before i leave tonight and again um, uh, I'll answer any questions that we have. I've, I've been this destination countless times. It's been the top uh, selling destination for us. So I know you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful trip. So without further ado, let's head out to Spain and the Costa del Sol. Um, now, importantly, as I mentioned, the St. Tammany Chamber has been doing this, I believe, since 2011 with us. Uh, we've been many, many places. Um, and as Connie mentioned, we're a wholesaler of travel. So um, we work with the chamber. If you've got any questions at all, you reach out to Connie. Uh, she will answer your questions. Uh, if she doesn't have any question, uh, any doesn't have the answer, she'll get hold of me or one of my staff members and and get the uh, question answered uh, for you through Connie. Um, that's how we can bring forth terrific programs as a wholesaler. You'll find our programs are priced very, very well when you see everything that's included in them. Um, and we'll go through that towards the end. Now, you've got it on this lead slide here. We have a copy of the brochure. I hope you've all seen it. If you haven't seen it, it's on the Chamber's website. Um, it's um, and you'll be able to pull it, uh, pull it down, print it up, send it to friends, family members. You don't need to be from the St. Tammany area. You don't need to be from the South. You might have family in New York, friends in Washington State, uh, uh, ex neighbors in LA. Tell them you're going. We'd be happy to help them out of their home airport. So November the first through to the. Uh, ninth is the departures uh, is well the first is the departure through to the ninth is the main program it's a great time to be heading into this region um it's the costa del sol the coast of the sun um it has beautiful uh, crystal clear blue waters golden sandy beaches and a sunny sunny environment um, it's hard to state what the weather will be like whilst there, but we'll get a lot of sun. But historically, it's in that high 60s, low 70s in the day, dropping down to a, a light jacket or a light sweater in the evening to the low uh, low 50s, uh, low to mid 50s in the evenings. That should be what history gives us. So without further ado, let's head out to Spain and see what we can find. So what this program is going to bring is a warm and inviting, friendly people that predominantly speak English, especially in the areas we're going. We've got cultures and traditions far different than uh, we have uh, in the United States. We've got, yes, great food. We've got seafoods, meat dishes. There's something for everybody. We can cater to all uh, uh, dietary requests as long as we uh no in advance um historical sites that have spanned centuries golden sandy beaches and yeah a great destination of Torremolinos. Torremolinos, an important fact about Torremolinos, 
uh, Cancun was copied from Torre Molinas. So the, the Mexican uh, tourism authorities went down to southern Spain uh, and arrived at Torre Molinos and said, this is what we want to duplicate. Hotels, restaurants, bars, all the facilities that you're going to need for a seven night stay and much, much more. All mixed up in a in a uh, a warm Spanish destination, a member of the European uh, Union and community. Day one, we'll find ourselves flying overseas. Now, I know somebody's going to ask me, "How are we getting there?" I'm always frank and forthright in all conversations. The pilots don't know where they're flying tomorrow. Never mind in November. So we're going to be leaving New Orleans, and the next day, on day two. We'll find ourselves an hola and welcome to Spain. Somewhere round about the mid-afternoon, we'll be arriving into Spain and to Malaga. Now, we'll most probably uh, need to go to an international, well, we will need to go to a U.S. international gateway over to Europe for a connection uh, onto Malaga. And here's where we're going to be arriving, right here, on the southern zone of uh, what's called Andalusia. And here we have Andalusia. This is what we call our cruise philosophy on land program. So what does that mean? It means that we're staying in one hotel for seven nights. Unpack your suitcase, take the crease out of clothes and relax. Like you would if you went down to New Orleans, jumped on a cruise ship or to Miami, jumped on a cruise ship, you'd unpack your suitcase, take the crease out of clothes and relax for a seven night sailing. Now, we're relaxing for a seven-night land program here. Hopefully, the, the hotel doesn't move in the evening like the boats do on a cruise. But we will move in the, in the day. That's a perfect location because we're close to Granada. We're close to Seville. We're close to the Rock of Gibraltar. Um, Mijas, Ronda, is and coming back to the same hotel each evening. No constant packing and unpacking. Welcome to the coast of the sun, the Costa del Sol. As soon as we arrive at Malaga, you'll be met by uh, your tour director and host and uh, at the baggage carousel, and you'll be on our modern air-conditioned motor coaches, high visibility windows for a short transfer of about 20 to 25 minutes to Torre Molinos. Now, for those people who've traveled with us before, you know we're constantly renegotiating and negotiating hotels. It'll be a centrally located, first-class uh, beach hotel um, in Torre Molinos, and you'll get to know those a little bit later on in the process in your final documentation. Um, but again, Torre Molinos is a great location. It has um, history as well, uh, um, uh, colonial history. It's a great downtown area with bars and restaurants and shops. It has the main shop, uh, walking promenade. It, in that wall, you can see it's a, it's got a paving stone on the top. That's known as the longest park bench in Spain. It runs for seven kilometers. Great thing to do after dinner because you have daily breakfast and daily dinner at the hotel. And no, you don't have to take dinner each evening. You might want to head out and eat one of the restaurants on the bar one night uh, and go for it. Well, if not, you know, after dinner in the hotel, walk the promenade, get a bit of fresh air and, and just uh, infiltrate into the Spanish community. Relax, shop, drink some wine, have uh, 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 some great desserts. And before we know it, day three will be upon us. Day three, we've got our first included full day tour, and we're heading to Seville, a spectacular architectural wonderland, and has been voted one of the most romantic cities in the world and Europe on numerous occasions. We'll see the Golden Tower. There's water everywhere in Seville, but here we've got the Golden Tower. Um, we've got um, the Plaza de España and Luis Maria Park. Um, the Plaza España, it's known for its handmade tiles, its sandstone buildings, and here's got some of the hand-painted tiles. Spectacular architecture, and everywhere you look, you'll be in awe um, at these, these buildings. Um, and here we've got, uh, again, some of those typical Andalusian tiles. 
After that, we'll head into the Santa Cruz district, over to the cathedral. Gents, no need to get a haircut because the barber's here all the time in Seville. You can get a haircut whilst you're here. We'll enter into the, uh, the cathedral, uh, the main quadrangle. The, you'll see the Gerald Tower, and we'll trace the heritage uh, of Christopher Columbus. You'll see his sarcophagus, which is there uh, as the sarcophagus is in uh, the cathedral itself. Christopher Columbus spent a whole host of time fundraising for his worldwide voyages. After that, we'll continue into the Royal Gardens, the Royal Alcazar, uh, with its walled uh, gardens and spectacular ornamental flowers uh, and hedges. Um, after that, we'll be learning a little bit about the culture on one of our cultural discovery series about flamenco. And we'll be going into the flamenco museum. We'll see, we experience flamenco dancing. There's two types of flamenco in this area. There's traditional with the colorful outfits that we've got here. And then there's the Romani gypsy style flamenco, which is all reds uh, and black outfits. Um, so we'll learn a little bit about flamenco. Day four, we'll find ourselves on an, uh, another included tour. We'll be heading to Gibraltar, a British colony. So we'll be leaving Spain behind and arriving into a British colony. No uh, visas are required or anything like that. We'll take care of all the details in advance. Uh, but you'll find that the rock looming right up before your eyes, way, way as you're heading down the West Coast, and the rock will, you'll see it, as I said, from, from the horizon. It is one of the most famous rocks in the world. It's a famous rock because it, it's military uh, fortifications be, built deep into the rock itself. It's said at any time the British military can close the Straits of Gibraltar on a whim. We'll be viewing the downtown section. We'll be going to the top of the rock too. By minibus, don't worry, you don't have to walk. So we'll be seeing spectacular views from the rock on a clear day. Uh, we'll see across the Straits of Gibraltar into Africa. You should be able to see back to Torremolinos too on a clear day. Uh, Catalan Bay uh, on, on the rock itself. Um, and uh, whilst on the rock, you'll see the famous Barbary Apes. It is said that uh, the day that the apes leave the rock, is the day that the British will lose control. So they do feed them five to six <laughs> times a day. They're going nowhere. Um, here's some of the ancient fortifications. There are modern fortifications built deep into the rock face itself. You'll see the, the famous harbor, one of the, the largest natural harbors in the world. You'll see Europa Point, the most south, southern uh, point of Gibraltar itself. Whilst here, you'll, you'll see typical British heritage, the government house, you'll see the typical British Bobby uh, in their summer uniform. You can get your fish and chips, see the old um, uh, phone boxes, which have all disappeared now in England, um, and come back um, to the hotel that evening. Relax, have dinner, head for a walk. Day six, we'll have another included tour, and we're heading to Rhonda as I call it, Ernest Hemingway's Ronda, because he spent a lot of time in Ronda during the Spanish Revolution. And we'll be heading uh, uh, through the White Mountains, which are on the back of Torre Molinos, uh, and driving through a spectacular landscape, passing typical uh, Andalusian whitewash village with, with um, highly fortified buildings, usually on the top of the mountain, um, arriving through to Ronda. Ronda is built precariously, on a cliff edge with spectacular views all the way through the valley. Here we've got the, the new bridge dating back to the 18th century. This is the new bridge. The old bridge is further back. Uh, it's not quite as big and as grand, but we'll cross the new bridge from the new section to the old section of um, Rhonda. Uh, and here we have here. Um, and here's some of those spectacular views down to the valley below. We'll also learn a little bit about bullfighting. 
Uh, bullfighting is slowly becoming phased out in Spain, but this is, shall we say, the Oscars of all bullfighting locations. Once a year is there bullfighting here, and it's been going on since 1785. Uh, it's a small um, uh, ring, only a 5,000 spectators, nigh on impossible to get tickets. You can go on to the actual sand in the middle. You can pretend to be the matador uh, if you'd like to. Uh, and we'll go underneath the bleachers to a wonderful museum where you'll learn the history of bullfighting. Um, after that, we'll go into the old town itself. We'll learn a bit about Ernest Hemingway. He'll have some time for lunch. Um, and then we'll head to the wine museum. We'll be learning about Spanish Andalusian wines and we'll have a spot of wine tasting too. Um, after lunch and time to relax, explore, and then we will come back. Now, a big part of our business and, and our philosophy is to bring you to a location for seven nights, provide you with good quality accommodations, as many meals as possible, somebody to assist you on the program, get as many included tours as possible, and then um, give you some free time to wander, get lost, do whatever you want to, jump in a taxi, head to the beach, uh, whatever you'd like to. You've got somebody that's going to be able to help you on the program and tell you what to do. Or you can have an optional tour um with with only you in mind and the first optional day to and they're really as long as you play your cards right uh there's only two optional tours on this program we have three but as long as you sign up before the early bird deadline expires there are only two so the first one is tangiers and into morocco We'll be uh, leaving the uh, Spain behind and heading to Morocco. We'll be leaving Europe behind and heading to Africa. We'll be crossing the Straits of Gibraltar on a high-speed jet car ferry and truck ferry. That doesn't do it justice of the size of this, but you'll find trucks, buses, cars, as well as passengers on the ferry. It depends on the, 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 the ferry. Um, anything between uh, uh, about a, an hour and 15 minutes to uh, an hour and a half uh, from Spain across to um, uh, Tangiers. And you'll see the golden sandy beaches and Cape Spital uh, looming before your eyes uh, on the horizon as you get to the coast of Africa. As soon as we arrive, we'll be met by our uh, uh, Moroccan guides, your your, your a Spanish host and tour director will go with you, uh, but you'll be met by locals who've forgotten more about this destination. We'll head into the old and walled city, the Medina area. You'll see the fortified old Tangiers. We'll head into the Caspar area with the spectacular narrow streets. Uh, and it's a great place to do a spot of shopping for, for, for carpets, for cloth items, brass items, wood items, get your... Get all your souvenirs bought whilst you're here. Uh, your spices and such things as that. We have lunch included on this optional day. You also have the ability, if you wish, to ride a camel on this program. It's not included, but you have the ability to do it. Now, this is the only pro uh, tour on the entire trip that's uh, a little bit longer. This is going to be leaving around about seven in the morning and you'll be coming back between seven and eight o'clock in the evening. A combination between getting to the port, going across, touring, coming back and such things as that. But it is a highly recommended trip. Now, day seven, we have our uh, Granada tour. So we're heading to the, well, Granada has been occupied by so many uh, uh, invaders. We've had the Moors from North Africa, we've had the Romans, we've had the Spanish, we've had a whole host of people. Um, <laughs> but the emphasis, <laughs> excuse me, of this trip is to see the Alhambra, the Red Castle. It is said to be the best preserved Moorish architecture outside Africa. I think it's the best preserved uh, Moorish architecture anywhere in the world. It's built high on a cliff face overlooking the town itself. Um, and we're looking here at the citadel, the fortification section. After that, we'll head into the Nasrid palaces. 
with the intricately carved. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Could, could I just ask you please to mute if you wouldn't mind? Everybody just to mute if you wouldn't mind. Um, so um, thank you, everybody. Um, so uh, we are, um, you'll find a, a highly decorated sandstone carvings throughout the palace. And the next few slides will tell you a little bit more about it. Great views all the way through. You'll see handmade tiles. We'll see some more of those in a moment. We're heading into to Kamarad's uh, palace and the Myrtle's palace, the palace of the lions with the newly renovated fountain and take a look at the typical Moorish arches. This is architecture that's really been forgotten how to, uh, to create such a masterpiece. All these are solid stone, all carved in one piece. It's not tiles, but here we can see some of the tiles. All the tiles are, are um, intricately carved, uh, precious, semi-precious stones um, and such seashells all built into the, the, to the tiles themselves. And it is a work of art. We're continuing on into the gardens of the palace with all the water features and it's a beautiful idyllic place. We'll come back to the hotel um, that uh, evening. Now this is an early bird tour, uh, as long as you sign up and we'll talk more about the early bird. I think it's um, uh, March the 29th, but I'll confirm that in a moment. As long as you sign up by the early bird deadline, this tour is free of charge. After the early bird deadline, it is extra $79 a person. This is a quintessential Andalusian whitewash village we're going to. Famous for its guitars. It's famous for its taxis. It's famous for its whitewashed cobble streets with, with hanging baskets outside. And here's a typical uh, Mijas shot um, with all that's beauty and color. Here we've got the taxi service, um, donkeys, Look, if you wish, you can you can rent a donkey and have a uh, a ride through the town itself, um, or just relax and look back down on Tormelinos and across the ocean, uh, Africa bound. This is a half day tour. Yeah, whilst you're there, you you if you wish, you're only 20, 25 minutes away from Malaga, uh, the the sixth largest city in uh, Spain and the third largest port. Lots of things to do there. You could go to the cathedral. You could go to the Picasso Museum. Picasso spent a lot of time in this area uh, and lived here for quite some time. You could just sit instead of doing an optional, just sit, relax, play a round or two of golf, um, head out and see a flamenco show. Uh, just go out there and shop until you drop and uh, just relax and take it easy in the sun on the Mediterranean. And before we know it, we'll have spent seven nights and day nine will be upon us. And for those people who won't carry on to Madrid, we'll wave goodbye to them here. But and they'll head back to the U.S. after experiencing a warm and inviting, friendly people a culturally rich environment with history spanning centuries, beautiful coastlines, ancient and magnificent architecture. And again, that culture so different than, than the uh, New Orleans and the South. Now, what do we get for this particular program? We class, we get a lot. You get round trip air transportation from New Orleans, first class hotels for seven nights. You get daily breakfast, full breakfast, um, and daily dinners. You're going to get a full day tour of Seville. You're going to get the second tour is a full day tour of Ronda. Third is a full day tour of the Rock of Gibraltar. And as long as you, you know, sign up before the early bird deadline, you get a half day tour of Mijas too. We've got our cultural discovery series. We've got the Flamenco Dance Museum and we've got the Wine Museum in Ronda. We've got a tour director host on the program. A tour director host means that they don't stay in the hotel. They'll be there every time a bus moves, but they go home in the evenings. They live in Toro Molinos. So they know this area like the back of their hand. Um, um, uh, you'll have that person with you throughout the program. Um, we've got deluxe air conditioned motor coach, we've got baggage handling, 
upon arrival in uh, Toro Molinos, in and out of the hotel. Now, this is $29.99 per person, double occupants, including all the above. Now you can really see what value you get. Uh, if you'd like to go as a single, that you can go as a single. There's limited availability as a single. It's an additional $6.99. And for $6.99, you can watch whatever you want to in the TV in the evening without an argument. <laughs> um, now, your fuel surcharges are included in that price, but your land taxes are $150, and they will be billed to you at the, uh, at the, um, with final payment. Now, this is an early bird de discount price. Um, if you do sign up before or on March the 31st, I apologize, I said the 29th, March the 31st, um, this is the price you pay, $29.99. After that, um, it's an additional $100. And if you want to go to Mijas, it's $79. So signing up before on um, uh, the 31st of March, you save $179 a person. Better in your pocket than in our pocket. Okay. So do sign up. And importantly, sign up sooner than later. The tour activity level of this program is a level... Three. It's a run of the mill tour with us on and off of motor coaches, cobble. There will be some cobble strip zones. There'll be some steps. There'll be some walking tours. If you think you can handle that, then this trip's for you. As we move on now, approximately 70% of all our traveling guests say, Hey, I'm already there. Why not continue on and see Madrid? And that's what we're doing. We've got an extension for two nights and we're going to Madrid. So as we're waving goodbye to everybody at Malaga Airport and they're flying home, we're going to continue on. Uh, and, and instead of connecting in Madrid, we're getting off and getting on a bus in Madrid. What you're going to get is from the and the trip is the 9th through to the 11th, two nights in a first class hotel. We've got daily breakfast. We've got a sightseeing tour of Madrid, including the Royal Palace. We got a, uh, a tour director on the program. We have air conditioned motor coaches, baggage handling for one piece of luggage. It is six ninety nine per person, double occupancy nine ninety eight uh, for single. Now here we are in Madrid, right there. Um, so we'll be flying from Malaga up to Madrid, the capital city, uh, known as the White City. Uh, it's palatial boulevards, wide, wide tree-lined boulevards, uh, spectacular uh, white uh, uh, granite buildings. And here you can see uh, lots of ornamental uh, rotundas or roundabouts uh, along the way. Here we've got the, the, uh, the, the statue of celebrities uh, and the palace behind. And here's the fountain right in front of it. We'll see the, fact, the fountain of Neptune, Alcala Gate, the old gate, to the, uh, which was the entrance to the old city. You'll see Plaza de España, uh, the royal palace we'll head into, um, and then we'll uh, conclude the tour over at Plaza Mayor. Plaza Mayor is the cultural uh, center of Madrid. It's where everything happens, and I strongly encourage you to come back in the evening and experience the the fun, the gaiety, and the, the, the social life of Madrid. We'll also see modern Madrid with its beautiful um, uh, modern buildings. Uh, in the afternoon, you'll get a bit of free time to relax, take it easy, maybe head into Rialto Park, head over to uh, the Prado Museum, uh, and before do a bit of last-minute shopping, uh, maybe head out to Casa Budin, which is the oldest, according to the Guinness Book of Records, the oldest uh, continually running restaurant in the world. It's been going since 1725, and it's uh, good for its roast suckling pig. Um, before we know it, we'll have spent two nights here. Uh, you'll be in last night to watch the world go by, and then uh, on day 11, we'll be departing the hotel uh, for the airport, again, with our flight back to the U.S. with memories of a great culture with a true we certainly hope you'll join the chamber on a terrific trip in 2023 now 
Visas are not required for Americans. If we've got any Canadians over there too, it's not required for either of you. You'll just need six months on your passport and two blank pages. Okay. Um, how do we sign up? I'm not going to dwell too long on uh, how do we sign up because it's really easy. There's two ways of doing it, signing up online. And I know many of you have already got accounts with us online. If you have, that's great. Go online and do it. That's the easiest and the quickest way to do it. If you don't uh, have the ability or you're not really good online, uh, then you'll fill one of these forms out. Please use block capitals in your Sunday best handwriting. The first, and it's one per person. There's two of you in the room, even husbands and wives. We need one form per person, please. The first section's really easy and self-explanatory. As we get to, to I'm going to stop at the room, uh, rooming as single. Please tick that box. Um, and... Um, and then if you're a double or a twin, please tick that box and circle which one you would like. Historically, there are some queen size beds here and not a, not a whole host of them. But if you, you know, if you circle double, there's a possibility you might get a queen as well. But some of you may just want the twins. There are not two queen size beds in the rooms in like there are in the United States. Indicate who you're sharing the room with there. And obviously, uh, if you're sharing the room, the person that you're sharing it with, we'll, we'll fill out a form and then put you in that same box. Notes, anything you need us to know about you as a traveler, please drop it in there, sodium, uh, fat-free diets, uh, any dietary needs and such things as that. Now we've got a little bit of a worksheet and this helps you if you've traveled with us before, you know why we do this, but it, optional tours. If you want the optional tours, please. Yes, I'd like the Granada tour. No, I wouldn't like Tangiers. You know, you get Mihas whether you like it or not. Um, if you sign up before or on the 31st of March, uh, if you are violently opposed to going, please tick no and say, I don't want it. Okay, it's free of charge if you wish, but it's up to you. Then we've got the optional extension, yes or no. Uh, and, and, and please total up, it's per person, total up the amount that drops down in that total box from above. Now, the reason we do this and why we do the calculate the trip. So any optional tours from above in the calculate your top to, to, uh, trip cost, you'll put in there. Then if you're a single, you put the $6.99 in there. If you're going on the Madrid expansion, you'll put that in there. You'll add the $150 and then total it all together. Why do we do it? It's for optional travel insurance. I hope you all take travel insurance and I hope you all waste your money on it. You're not going on this trip to see how travel insurance is. I had a good that trip was all right, but the travel insurance was really fabulous. That's not what you're going to say. You're going to be exact opposite. Oh, the trip was really good. And thank goodness I didn't need to use the insurance. Hopefully, touch wood, let's all do that right now. But it's usually the time you don't take it out. It's the time you need it. As I mentioned, I'm in Greece. I took, I always take travel insurance out because I've seen what happens when somebody doesn't take it out and something occurs. So there's one policy and two ways of producing it. So hopefully I'll be able to explain this to you now. So there's a standard policy and, and, and that standard policy is cancel for a reason. So if you fall sick, or uh, that you die, or an immediate family member uh, gets sick or dies, um, and you can get a medical professional to state this, it should cover to gain, uh, to cancel your trip. Please don't try those because they're not really good options, are they? Um, but that's the cancel section of the, the travel insurance policy. It also covers medical on the trip, trip interruptions, travel delays, missed connections emergency medical evacuation, lost baggage, personal effects, and baggage delays. Now, you can enhance that, and you can make it cancel for any reason. So you can buy a rider policy that sticks to the standard policy. You get everything on the left-hand side, everything to do with the lost luggage, trip interruptions. But if you wish to, you can, as long as you reserve the cancel for any reason insurance, 
within 24 hours of reserving the trip with money with us and you cancel uh, 48 hours before departure, you will gain 65% of the penalty amount back. I class that to be a great start. Uh, and it is a good start, We va but we value the chamber, we value you, and we as a company will augment that. We'll give you 35% of the penalty amount back in the form of travel club credits. Now, we cannot give you a money back because we're not an insurance company. But together with the insurance and our travel credits, you are 100% financially covered on the program. I strongly encourage you to take it out and to protect you and your investment. Now, if it happens to be a medical, you'll get 100% back of the, 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 the money if, as long as a doctor states that. But this gives you a little power, power in today's day and age there's many things happening in the world above our pay grade. But, you know, also you might get a bad haircut or you break a nail and you, you say, I don't I just don't want to go. I don't want to be seen out in public. Or you might be a lawyer and you get the case of a lifetime. I can't go. You can cancel for whatever reason. Cancel for uh, any reason. That's exactly what it states. I'll show you in a minute where you'll be able to see the policy. So as we go in here now. You'll see right here in the section of the travel insurance, you'll see a link. You can click on that and that will show you the policy. Now, calculating the trip. We've gone through that. Uh, we've gone through the travel insurance. Now, importantly, it isn't plus plus. So, for example, if you just want the standard policy, it's two hundred and twenty one dollars in the figure of three thousand to thirty five hundred dollars. Um, Cancel for any reason is $331.50. It's not both of those added together. It's just one, whichever you'd like. Tick which box you'd want and say yes or no. Then we've got the deposit. Um, for those who've traveled with us before, you know there's a deposit to be made. No bookings can be made uh, secured until we gain a payment on a program. So it's $800 per person. Uh, to reserve your spot, plus any optional tour amount that drops out in the total box here, uh, plus any uh, extension that uh, drops out in that section here. So drop it in there. We are delaying your trip. We're buying additional hotel rooms and 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 uh, seats on airlines. So we do need payment for that in advance. Lastly, the insurance right there. Um, so drop that in there, plus. This line plus this line plus this line, and that's the amount due at the time of deposit. Your final payment is due Ju uh, June the twenty fourth. Okay, we take visa, uh, we take sorry checks made out to Aventura World uh, and and sent to the chamber. Now we don't collect your credit cards any longer on this form. So if you do fill out one of these forms, um, you'll notice you can't put a credit card there. So please indicate how much you want to be charged on this section right here, and we will send you a link um, to the uh, to the merchant account directly to the merchant account, not us, but directly to the credit card merchant account. And you'll drop in your num uh, your credit card number. And if this says one thousand one hundred and fifty six dollars fifty six cents, that's what you'll be charged on the program itself. Okay, now. Importantly, I've given you one tool, cancel for any reason, that gives you some security and peace of mind. I'm going to give you another tool right now, and that's our terms and conditions. From the time that you were uh, initially booked all the way up to 131 days before you go, you'll get a full money back guarantee. All you'll do is send an email through to Connie. I, can't, I don't want to go, and as long as it's all the way up until... 131 days, we will initiate the cancellation process immediately. And you will gain back your deposit, you'll gain back your optional tour money, and you'll gain back your um, extension cost. The only thing you cannot gain back is travel insurance. That is fully non-refundable. So I ask you when you buy this, and it's important to buy it, but when you buy it, just enter into the conversation. I wasted my money on that insurance. <coughs> Excuse me. Then lastly, sign it. Um, oh, I apologize. 
sign it, date it, get it over to Connie at the chamber. For those people who have, uh, have reserved before on the booking engine, you'll notice, I apologize, I'm gonna show you something. Look at the very top right here, you'll find a booking code. You'll also find aventoworld.com backslash booking. You'll click on that link. And if you've already got an account with us, you'll put that code in there and you're all set to go. You'll put, you'll put your, your, your login email in here, your password, whatever code in there and drop it and press submit um, and uh, you'll be all set. If you haven't done this before with us, then you'll have to make a, a, a portal. You'll have to just make an account with us. It's quick. It's easy. It's your name. It's your, you'll, you'll fill out this, your name, your, your first name, last name, email address, password, confirm the password. There's a code underneath there. And then straight after that, um, you will then um, you will then um, be in our system. Once you're in our system, you'll just have to fill out a couple of things. You'll have to put your passport number in there. You'll have to put your address in there. You'll have to put your telephone number in there. Uh, and then, then you'll put anybody that's going to be traveling with you in there. And once you've done that, you'll be able to book. Nice and easy, and it's really quick. And once, once everybody's in your account, it's all plug and play. Everything's in the system. You know, my wife's in there. My kids are in there. Maybe great Aunt Maud, who lives in LA, is in the system too. And it's really, really easy. Now, importantly, you cannot, you cannot, there's a section five on our booking engine, and that's regarding the insurance. You cannot currently buy the insurance from our booking engine. Please do remember this. You cannot. Look at section five. Take a screenshot or a picture with your camera, uh, your phone if you wish. Um, and um, it's an informational section. Once you have, uh, you'll press OK to section five and you'll move to section six. And then you'll put your credit card in the section six to, for your deposit and once you have pressed submit, then this will automatically uh, populate on your screen. Don't go anywhere. This is the insurance. And you can buy the insurance directly from the insurance company. And it's the best way to do it. If you have really, really strong virus protection or uh, anti, anti um, uh, pop-ups, it might not. So if it doesn't, pop up, then go to the brochure and just type in that, that address that I gave you earlier uh, and you'll be, this will pull up. But it's the departure date, return date, the trip cost, the number of passengers. I highly encourage even husbands and wives to have their own policy, please. And then you'll put your resident, uh, your state residency in there and then get instant quote. And this will come you up in step two, and it will list all the sections of the policy. This is a HTML file, too big for one slide. So the second part is here. And you'll be able to hover over these sections here, and it'll tell you a little bit more about the, the section in that blue uh, underlined section. Now, anybody interested in cancel for any reason, there it is right there. You'll check that box. As long as you are not a New York resident, for some reason, New York residents can't buy cancer for any reasons. It's a, a New York law. Um, so you'll be able to, to um, click that box. And that white box underneath is a calendar. As long as you, uh, it's important to sign up for this as soon as, as soon as you have reserved your trip with us. Click on the calendar, hypothetically, you signed up today, just to put today's date or no longer than 24 hours after today's date in the calendar, press submit, and we're on to step three. Now, as we go through this particular, and the reason I'm taking a little bit of time about talking about the insurance is uh, we get a lot of calls, and, and this is going to stop Connie from getting a lot of calls. Only fill out the starred sections. So first name, last name. Look, there's member ID straight underneath there. There's no star on it. You don't need it. Fill out the home information right here. Second address, you don't need it. Now, importantly, um, email postal is not starred. 
But if you want this policy emailed to you, please make sure from the page below, you put your email in here, okay? Um, so I want it emailed to me. I want it delivered to me by mail, whichever you want to. It's coming directly from the insurance company. So you know you're going to get it. Beneficiary, no stars there. You don't need it. Relationship, don't need it. Travel agency code, it will automatically populate. Don't need anything else there. Now, the, the last sections of this, and we're nearly finished. You can, you can fire your questions at me. Um, you, first one's going to ask you the primary destination, Spain. Nice and easy. That's an easy one. The next one's going to be primary airline. Again, you don't know what that is right now. So from this, the, the pull down, the very last one is undecided. Click undecided. And then once you're there, you'll be able to go to, you'll press save. It'll go to step four and you'll be able to put your credit card directly into the insurance company's website. And, and as soon as you press send, you will gain your policy directly to you. Okay. Now you may have done this. You might've bought a policy from us in the past on the paper form. Um, I still recommend if you can do this on the paper form as well, uh, I strongly encourage you buying the insurance directly. Why? Because as soon as you press send, the insurance company will either mail it to you or email it to you. If you send us the, the paper registration form and with the money for that, then what we'll have to do, we'll have to cash that money. It'll take us a bit of time to to process that, we'll send it over to the insurance company. It takes them a bit of time to process it, and then they will send the insurance out to you. There's no real date when you're going to get that insurance policy. And 99% of the time, it goes in spam. So you may or may never know when it arrives, and it might be something that, hey, I'm not looking for. If you do it directly and you press submit at step four, you know that email is with you you're talking to a computer. If it's not in your inbox, it's in your spam, and it's uh, it's all sudden and done. So questions, that's it really, everybody. Uh, I don't have anything online. You're all a quiet bunch online. So um, anybody got any questions actually in the room? And if you've got anybody yeah. online and you, you, you wanna type in something, please feel free to. But if not, please unmute yourself. And if anybody has anything, please let me know. Connie, do you please stop sharing so that everybody who is on Zoom can come up on the screen and oh god, what yeah. happened? <laughs> you did this. I didn't because not <laughs> I am sitting here simply because we've had so many technical difficulties lately. Like <laughs> I, I think I've stopped sharing. Yeah, but, yeah. Hmm. yeah. No, we, we're having issues on our end. Um that's what I just had to Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, stop share. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's start in the room. Has anybody got any questions in the room? Any questions? <laughs> I was going to say, we'll start on this side, work our way around. I think that might be the easiest way to do it. I mean, <laughs> I, uh, it doesn't. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I may have missed this. Who am I talking to? Oh, I'm, I'm trying to get such an eye contact with Because he is Scott and he is the owner of Aventura. Oh, oh, Ian. Ian. <laughs> yeah. We need to make him come up again. Yeah, yeah. the, the owl is where the camera, the camera and the thing are. But he's all right. And I can see you. Oh. you. You just can't see me. Too many, you can't hear too many people talking. Um, I may have missed this and I apologize because I was late. What airline are we flying? <laughs> we don't know. No. We are. Don't know yet. This, this this routing, it's not necessarily this, but this routing is usually a Delta Air France routing. Um, so uh, if it's not a Delta Air France, it's an American Iberia routing, historically. Okay, okay. And um, I have a question with, I mean, what if there's a government shutdown <laughs> with COVID or you know, Russia comes to get us or too many balloons in the air or something, you know, like, what, is there any kind of, I, I, I'm, not, I'm just starting to travel a bit, you know, a lot. And um, 
things like that. I just wonder about things like that after you've submitted all your your dollar. And if you're is there ever a shut the government shutdown for travel? Yeah, and I think they want to get um, I mean, we've had it. I don't think it will ever happen again. I think the 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 horse is out of the stable. It's it, there are no COVID rules and regulations on this trip. I don't foresee them coming back ever again. Obviously, it's be, it's beyond my pay grade. That's why we give you the two tools of of 130 days money back guarantee or cancel for any reasons. Those two are great ways that you can you know get get yourself a bit more peace of mind and you can put X on the calendar that it's going. But I I I will be. Highly, highly surprised if there's ever another shutdown in, in a COVID scenario. It's done. Uh, there's no rules and regulations on it. And I can to say I've lived in this country for 25 years. You know, you've got to watch yourself anywhere in the world. But I think you'll be, you know, there are no mass shootings in Spain. Um, mm -hmm. There are no, there, there's, I think you'll be very, very safe and very, very secure as you wander around. Please have a bit of common sense. But, um, you know, I think you'll be very safe over that. This is Connie. I have a question sort of related to that, because one of the issues when we were going to Greece was Russia was getting ready to consider invading Ukraine. And so we went back and forth about that. We ended up, we didn't cancel. The trip wasn't canceled. If something extremely significant happens and working with you, the trip gets canceled on our end, what happens? I, 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 Connie, I'm going to be very frank. I don't think there's a scenario out there that it will ever get cancelled. I, 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 again, I don't think so. That's why we can't get into what if scenarios. We brought out two real tools. And I think we all we're all consenting adults in today's day and age. We all know that there's a there's a conflict in in Russia right now. We all know that COVID exists. I strongly encourage you, if you have any concerns, mark 131 days in your calendar and get counseled <clears> for any reason insurance. And, and really, that's the only advice that I can give you because I, I do not think that this will ever get counseled. I truly don't. Okay, Mark, one more question. Okay, if you sign up as single, but then you end up, you know, yeah. companion to, to come along, how does that work? Like okay, so you can sign up a single. If you don't have a companion with you, you will be your reservation will be taken care of, and we will invoice you as a single. Once you find a roommate, we will then and you say, "Hey, uh, John or Alice is going to share with me." Then we will uh, you'll get the reservation in for that person, and we will amend your invoice to be double occupancy. They can go vice versa as well. Sorry? It can go vice versa, you know, like if it's you know, double and you end up, you know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then you get a single. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That can happen anytime at any no. time. No, no, no. I would say that that has to happen, you know, importantly. So there's more than just the chamber on this date. So if you know you want to go, travel is booming. The, the, uh, Every uh, I just flew uh, from from the West Coast into Athens. Every seat was taken. So um, there's less flights up there in the skies. Um, people are coming back in hordes into travel. Last year was our biggest year. This year we're going to it's going to be so much more than last year. Um, so if you know you want to go, get your reservation in sooner than later. We have that one, uh, March the 30th, which isn't that far away, but you know, by March the 31st, it might already be sold out. So if you know you want to go, sign up sooner than later uh, to avoid disappointment, not, um, not if, but when this trip sells out. What is the sold out number? Is there a number on? What is the sold out number? Great question. So um, we look to fill one coach first. The coaches hold uh, between 50 and 55 people in this destination. We look to gain 40 to 43, 44 people on the bus. Once we have that amount, and again, there's more than just the St. Tammany Chamber. Um, I apologize. Give me one moment. For some reason, my battery is running out. 
I'm plugged in. Are you still there? While he's doing that, I just want to add that whenever and the legacy can attest to this, I have to test the travel insurance and see the <laughs> Egyptian healthcare system and got seven stitches. So I will recommend you get the travel insurance. That's right. I'd forgotten about that, Jessica. And there was also a concern. My husband came back with a false positive when we were getting ready to leave. So he mm -hmm. thought he might have to can't stay. They retested him. He came home with me. I threatened to leave in Asia. But there's issues like that the insurance I I used it. And I would like to say on the on the trip that I went on, we had um, some people who were concerned about Russia and Ukraine, and they had to cancel for any reason insurance. And so they were they were within the 131 days, obviously, but they were able to do the 65-35 scenario yeah. with the 65 refund and 35% credit. And they could yeah. not have done that if they would have just had the regular travel insurance. Yeah. So for any reason was added after Egypt, because Egypt was supposed to happen in April of 2020. And then COVID happened. Yeah, because you were booked for that one. Yeah. Three times we rescheduled that trip. I mean, I personally wouldn't do. I mean, I'm just speaking for me. I personally wouldn't do it without mm -hmm. cancer panic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 If, if, yeah. Okay. Anybody on anybody online have any questions? We still have questions. I was going to say there's yes, a lot of questions. I have questions about the flight. Okay. okay. Well, 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 on, our, going around, on our daily right. tour on the buses, how much of a chunk of time do, do the bus rides take? Out of the day. As I mentioned, the, the Tangier tour is the longest tour on any program we have in the world. So that's going to be from a seven through till about a seven, eight p.m. in the in the evening because of the you know the transfers to the port, the, the ferry and the touring. Um, other than that, um, uh, Granada is about an hour and 15 minutes in each direction. Mijas is 30 minutes. Ronda is about an hour and 15 minutes in each direction. Uh, the Rock of Gibraltar is about an hour and 20 in, in each direction. Um, uh, Seville is about two hours in each direction. All, all transfers and, and tours will be stopping along the way for leg stretches, bathroom breaks, and if anybody still smokes. Okay, thank you. Okay, I have a question. Is there any consideration of doing a post Barcelona trip? We have no, that's not on our program. If anybody, if you wish to do that, you can break away from the program at the end and make your own way. And we'll provide you with the air on return. But no, we, we are not planning a Barcelona trip. What is the weather like at this time in November? Um, it is. It's in, in the late uh, high 60s, uh, uh, mid 70s in the day, uh, dropping down into the mid to low 50s in the evenings, if it's by history. The weather is really crazy in today's day and age. So I was in New Jersey last week, and a tornado stuck down in, in, in New Jersey, and there was actual uh, forest fires at the said same time. So strange world, but that's if, if history follows. This is a typical rain situation at that time of year. No, there's no rainy season in Spain. Uh, it's the Mediterranean. So it, it may rain, but no, it's there's no rainy season. We might get an, a, an afternoon or a couple of hours of rain here or there, but no, there's no rainy season. Wait, 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 the Barcelona, you said if we broke off and went to Barcelona, you paid for the airfare back home from Barcelona? No, we not. can plan, we can plan for your airfare, uh, so as long as we know. You can. We can. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay, ready? All right, my question is on uh, calculating uh, for your Travel protection plan. Yeah. What is included in the tour cost? Is it the original tour cost? Do you add in the optional tours, the tax? It's everything. It's everything. Every, every single thing that you have. Every single thing. So if you That's add, why we give you that worksheet. So if you add the trip and two optional tours and the tax. And the insurance. Yes. 
And but not the insurance, correct? Or do you have no. in, well, no. you don't know not you the insurance. The oh. Not the insurance. So that's 35, 27. So you would go into the, the second grouping. Yeah, the, there is a there is a there is a uh, a scenario that it, it's a tier system, so that's why we make that that uh, worksheet so you know how much the insurance is based on the trip cost. And the tax was included. You need to add the tax. And, and that figure. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. So it is this one. Does anybody else in this room have questions? Okay, go ahead. I've had questions on the flights. I know you said that um, you don't have anything booked, but is it normally a charter flight or is it a commercial flight? Okay, always, always a commercial flight. Okay, and on that, and, and, and very frank, you know, the flights that we have right now are going to change two, three, four times before you arrive. That's why we don't give them out. In today's day and age, the flights change constantly. So um, where in my flight, I only booked it. I only booked it um, uh, as this was a last minute trip. I only booked it Saturday and it did change. Only a matter of minutes, but it changed. Okay, then next question I have is, is it a direct flight? And how long is it if it is? So it's how long it is? Uh, as as I mentioned earlier, it will be to an international gateway inside the United States to a European gateway into Malaga from there. So it's going to be a, a two connection. There okay. are no non-stop flights into Malaga. No. Upgrade your seats. I mean, I'm assuming everybody's coach. But if you want to go premium, sorry, I missed that. I couldn't. You there, want to can you upgrade your flights? Oh, can you upgrade it? Yes, you can. On this itinerary, give or take, it's going to be approximately between three and a half and four thousand dollars as an upgrade into a business class first class seat. And, and <laughs> three and a half to four thousand dollars. How long does it take to fly there? Um, from let's just say if it was an Atlanta um or you know houston give or takes round about the same but if it was an atlanta it's going to be about a 10 hour flight over uh the ocean into europe and then give or take somewhere between a 90 minutes to a two hour flight from there and then the whole group set together and, and um also what about global entry and clear do you have to go with the group to clear the customs and everything or can you no, you don't have to go through with a group to clear the customs uh, in any shape or form. Um, um, uh, and and uh, it clear is only something in the United States. Once you're out of the United States, it's it's nothing. Um, so that doesn't help you at all. Um, and seating, husbands and wives, uh, travel companions, uh, we, we uh, do bring that to the airlines. And um, we basically give the airlines the list based on your room, rooming list. So everybody in the same room should be sat together. And if we know that friends are traveling together and you want to be close to each other on the plane, we try our best to get that done too. And what about global entry? Global entry is attached to your passport. We don't need to see that. Uh, it's actually in there. So when you come back to the United States, You'll just put your, comp your passport in the computer for global entry, and you're done. Okay, and I don't have to do that with like the group or anything. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and so we don't pay uh, insurance on insurance. It's just the total of the trip less the insurance. Everything that drops down, uh, everything that drops down. If you're looking at the brochure, everything that drops down from the worksheet. That's what you would pay the insurance cost on. Gotcha. Oh, I, I did have one about the credit cards. Uh, a lot of companies are now adding additional fees for credit cards, using credit cards. Is, do you get any reduction if you do check rather than a credit card? Uh, we, we don't, but if you wish, we can, we, can, we can put a little charge on there for your credit card, but no, we don't. 
<laughs> no, I'm looking for you to take it off. <laughs> no, no, we don't. Most people pay by credit cards in today's day and age. Most people do. And their activity level, you said, was three, which is front of the meal. We just went yeah. to yeah. France, to Paris, and I had to climb the Montmartre stairs. So are we talking lots of stairs <laughs> or just a few? <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot of stairs on there, but no, there's not a, you know, there's not a whole host. The most amount of stairs you're going to find on this program is going to be at the Alhambra Palace. Uh, but there's not a whole host there anyhow. You start at the top and you keep walking in a level scenario. But there are some stairs. Nothing too strenuous on this program. And, and yes. Yes. is it uh, possible to use uh, Delta points if, if we're flying Delta? Okay. So if you're using, if you have points, the airline hope owns those points. You must book your flights directly with the airline because th they won't allow us to do anything. So in this case, if you want to do that, if you have oodles of points or you have to fly a specific um, carrier on a specific route, then you can do land only. And for this particular program, I think, and 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 I, I don't have it open on my screen. I think it, it's about seven... It's between seven hundred and eight hundred dollars a person to do your discount, do your own air, and then you can do that with your points um, and and work on it like that. Okay, Good. thank you. <coughs> You're welcome. Is anybody else in this room with questions? <laughs> I have one. I have another. Okay. Who is responsible if you're on a no, okay? If you're on a bus tour and the bus happens to fall off of the Rock of Gibraltar, and you know who is responsible? Are we responsible for the insurance? Are the bus responsible? Is it, are you guys responsible for health? If you need to go to the ER or something, you know, because of a bus accident. I mean, like, who is? We have insurance. We have insurance. We have insurance. Um, but again, you know, I strongly encourage if you if you're thinking that something like that might happen. I've, I've been in this industry for 35 years. I've never had a bus crash. I've never had an incident like that. But if you're thinking it might happen again, there are many reasons why you should take travel insurance. It's and, on the travel insurance. It's not anything. It's not independent bus insurance or your insurance. Well, we, there, there's special insurance. We have a, we have errors and emissions insurance and such things as that. But again, uh, I strongly, I, you know, again, I've been doing this for 35 years. I've not had one at all, uh, at all. And, and I've, uh, I've had tens of hundreds of thousands of people travel with me um and so again we have an insurance policy for that um <laughs> I, I don't know the ins and outs of claiming on it because i've never had, ever had to do it uh in 35 years yeah. Yeah. If you're, uh, but if you're a little nervous like that i wouldn't I'd, again i'm i'm a very i listen to what's been said i wouldn't recommend you go uh, take take the travel insurance if you, if that's not enough for you i i would consider maybe not going so much okay. about that it's just that i have not i'm just starting the traveling and i don't know how it works you're 35 years into it i'm not so it's just a question for my sure no. sure sure yeah no i mean again I've been traveling all the way through COVID. I think travel is still one of the safest methods out there. Flying coach is still a lot safer uh, than than everything such as that. But you know, again, I'm a big believer in making sure that you're protected. That's why I emphasize the travel insurance so much because I've seen people fall and nothing to do with coach accidents. I've seen people fall off of a step. I've seen people, you know, uh, get sick and such things as that. And that's what the insurance is there for in case that happens. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody online have any questions? I have one more. We have another one here. Ian. Okay. Yeah. So, the destination from New York or Atlanta or wherever it is, when we leave, it lands in Malaga, right? Not necessarily. 
What? There are no non. Let me repeat this again. There are no non-stop flights from the U.S. into Malaga. No, there aren't. So we will go from a from um, from New Orleans to an international U.S. departure airport over to Europe for a connection into Malaga. Do you have any any examples of potential connections in Europe? Paris, Paris, Madrid, Frankfurt. Okay. Yeah. Is there going to be no additional cost? No, that's all. No, no additional cost. What do you think? All right, does any... Uh, yeah. If you hear the Madrid ships, he's by back. Somewhere else. Yeah. Ian, if, if um, when we leave Malaga, whatever it is, where do we fly back from in Europe? Where We leave, we get on the plane in Malaga, right? Yeah. Uh, to where? Well, to, uh, it depends. It, it depends. It depends on the airline. So if it be a, a Delta Air France, it might be Paris. If it be a United Lufthansa, it might be Munich, or it might be it might be um, um, uh, Munich or Frankfurt. If it be an American Iberia, it might be Madrid. Okay, if you take the Madrid extension, then you would leave from Madrid and head back to the US. Yes. Correct, correct, correct. If you're on the extension, you'll leave from Madrid. Yes. Okay, Ian, I have a couple of, any, I have a couple of questions. Can I ask them? Okay, with the cancel for any reason insurance, you made the comment that we should reserve our insurance within 24 hours of reserving our trip. So if we're doing it online, then it's easy because then you can go right, you can do it online and reserve it. If we're doing it by paper, then as soon as they give that information to me with a check or then it goes to you and you take care of it. So the 24 hours is covered. Yep. But if they give it to me and it's a credit card and I give it to you and they- You're not going to give a credit card. You're not going to give a credit card to me, Connie, because we don't collect the credit card. You're going to send a link, and you're going to send a yes. link. Yes. To, yes. Send to the to the merchant. Yeah. Account. All right. Yeah. I'm going to ask you more questions so I understand that I'll do it offline. Okay, that was my question. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to understand that because I promise you won't come back and ask me that question. Okay. And the five to and what time do you have an approximation of how much time that first day will have in Madrid? Okay. Uh, he mentioned that on the first right, uh, when you go to Madrid for the extension, um, do they have an estimate of how much time on that first day? It's so it's a it's a travel day, Connie. Um, so you know it's it's when we can get that flight. There are a couple of flights a day. So historically, we're on a flight somewhere around about mid morning. It's at about a 90 minute flight. So uh, by the time you get to the hotel, we're not going to be able to get into the hotel until, you know, after one o'clock. So somewhere around after one o'clock is where we, where our goal is to get to the hotel. Basically, you have one, one day in Madrid. Yeah, that half day and the next day. Yeah, yeah, two nights, one and a half, about one and a half days and two nights, yes. <laughs> Does anybody have any other questions? Can I get tickets to the full fight? <laughs> Did you hear that, Ian? No. Make arrangements for people to purchase tickets to the bullfight. Sorry, uh, what was that? Make arrangements to purchase tickets for people to go to a bullfight. Alas, alas, it's not bullfighting season. <laughs> oh, okay. No. I, I apologize. It is, and, and, and Malaga is the closest bull ring, and that now is one of those cities that doesn't. It, it, I showed you a picture. The bull rings, I think, is still there, but they don't have bullfights any longer. It's slowly getting phased out in in Spain. All right. Does anybody have any additional questions? All right. Well, thank you, Ian. We appreciate it, and for everyone here, we will send you a recording of this. Thank you. Well. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. And uh, and we certainly hope you'll join us on this trip. Bye bye.